Donald J. Trump has just won the American presidential election. This is actually extremely surprising for me. Um, I swore up and down Hillary Clinton was going to win this year. Eight years ago, she was um, challenging Obama, <laughs> President Obama, to uh, for being president at that time, and she lost. She challenged the Republicans this year, again, for the presidential seat, and lost again. I actually feel so bad for this lady. She just keeps losing all over the place. And if you're wondering what my opinion is on the entire presidential, American presidential election, um, you're not going to find it because I don't really like either of them, don't agree with a lot of things Hillary talks about, and I certainly don't agree with a lot of Trump's actions and some of his stances and most of his history and... Mm. The point is, this election is a word that I cannot say because I, it's against my moral code. But I'm just making this video to explain to probably a more Japanese audience why or what this means, what Trump's policies are, and maybe what might happen in the future. If you Google Donald J. Trump, Google provides a nice list of topics. Um, of his stances on certain areas. For example, immigration, abortion, guns, foreign policy, taxes, gay marriage, health care, economy, civil liberties, crime and safety, environment, education, budgeting, national security, etc., etc. This is a, a fantastic list. It also provides a bunch of articles related to his stances, um, stuff like that. You can find a similar list for Hillary Clinton um, if you just Google her name as well. Um, you could also find it for the other candidates, too, I believe, Gary Johnson and Jill Stein. A lot of people know Trump because he always talks about this wall he's going to build, right, between America and Mexico. This reminds me very much so, actually, of Japan's time of isolation back in history. For a long time, Japan was very isolationist. And it seems like Trump is starting to lean towards that way. Of course, he's not going to um, keep everybody out. According to Google, um, he's, he just wants to get rid of a lot of illegal immigrants, illegal aliens. It says he welcomes those who embrace our way of life, Americans' way of life, but keep and keep out immigrants and refugees who don't embrace our way of life through rigorous vetting. It's an interesting word, vetting. For abortion, he's mostly against abortion. Um, he does say, though, that he is for it when it comes to rape, incest, and whether or not it threatens the life of a mother. And he's really opposed to, to the use of government funds for paying for a, abortions. Guns. A lot of Americans love their guns, and this is something, a topic that's kind of foreign to Japanese. In Japan, guns are illegal. You cannot own a gun. Japan also, coincidentally, has one of the highest safety ratings. It's one of the safest countries in the world. Whether or not guns have something to do with that, I'm not sure. I, I don't think so personally. The Japanese are a very different culture, very different people, raised very differently than Americans. So I think guns play less a factor in Japan being one of the world's most secure nations, one of the world's most safest nations. I think the way you're raised and brought up has a lot to do with it. Going back to Trump, um, his statement on Google is an unwavering support for the Second Amendment. For those of you who don't know, the American Constitution and Bill of Rights give Americans rights for example, rights to own guns. This is called the Second Amendment. By the way, you can safely assume that for most of Trump's policies, Hillary would have been the 
exact opposite. As for foreign policy, Trump's Google statement says foreign policy will be singularly focused on making America safe again by destroying radical Islamic terror groups. End the nuclear deal with Iran and the ransom payments to the world's number one state sponsor of terrorism. America will stand with its allies and end the Obama-Clinton practice of apologizing to our enemies. <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh so much. As for taxes, Trump wants to generally, generally lower taxes. As for health care, Trump plans on repealing Obamacare. For economy and jobs, it says reform the tax code and trade policies to make it easier to hire, invest, build, grow, produce, and manufacture in America. Stop China from stealing our jobs. Negotiate NAFTA. Cut unneeded regulation and make America the best place in the world to do business. He is a businessman. It does kind of make sense to put a businessman in charge for economic and jobs related areas. Whether or not his current policies that I just read will work, I'm not sure and I don't care to comment. He wants to restore the Patriot Act, which is basically the government spying on your metadata for anti-terror surveillance. This is actually interesting, um, his statement on education. Every child in America des deserves a great education and an opportunity to achieve their dreams. We will enhance education options for students through school choice and charters, and respect homeschoolers in their quest for educational alternatives. We will also make it easier for families to afford college so students aren't buried in debt. That sounds a lot like Bernie Sanders, with the key difference that Bernie Sanders wanted to make college completely free, whereas Trump just wants to lower the cost. I also didn't see anything about medical marijuana or things like that, so it's not a complete list on Google, but you can find it and it's pretty good, so highly recommend that. Also, for those of you who don't know, which is probably a lot of my Japanese viewers, the United States government has two major parties, the Republican Party and the Democratic Party, or the, called Democrats. The Republican Party tends to be more conservative, eh, whereas the Democratic Party tends to be more liberal. Donald Trump was affiliated with the Republican Party, even though a lot of Republicans don't approve of him. What's really interesting is that the Republican Party made a huge sweep. In other words, they took the House of Representatives and they took the Senate. And with Donald Trump, they took the presidency. For the next four years, the Republican Party has almost total control <laughs> of the American government. But what are your thoughts? What do you think? Is this craziness? Is it absolute? Is it gonna be absolute hell? You know? Are you scared? As for me, I'm not too scared, I don't think, as my friends are in America, because I'm currently in the wonderful country of Japan. Very, very far away from America right now. Am I pleased with how this election turned out? Not really. Um, they were both pretty terrible. Back in the primaries when there was like a whole bunch of other options, I definitely would have voted for someone different. <laughs> so, but again guys, if you have any more comments or suggestions for me, comment below, tweet me, do whatever. And if you are a praying person, please pray for our our country. Please pray for America. <laughs> because if it starts going down the tubes, I'm out. Bye-bye. I'm done. <laughs> Alright. Peace, guys.